Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Stoke and I am on Garner Street which is just below the Basford Bank roundabout. It's been covered, this has, by somebody else before, by uh, DJ Media I think. Um, now I've just turned up and I'll let me tell you something, at first glance is this, is probably one of the worst places for fly tipping I have ever been to. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at the state of this. Oh my lord. Uh, so we're going to fall around because there's quite a bit to cover on this one. Look at all this. Oh my. F oh fucking hell it stinks. Sorry about swearing guys. Um, but it absolutely honks. This does. Real, real bad. Now. Um, there is a story about uh, where I'm going to get to in a minute. And uh, it's about just under the bridge up there uh, I think it was about a year ago a dead body was found now I've tried to find some information about the the man that was uh, that was found dead just underneath this bridge here but I couldn't find any information out um, but yeah you can understand why nobody found him for ages uh, it's nice and out of the way isn't it uh, but I'm not kidding you guys, this, it is a stinkhole, and I mean a real bad stinkhole. I'm going to probably say, possibly one of the worst that I've, um, that I've come across, and it's all up there. Now I'm not sure whether it's stuff that's been sort of dropped down from there, or come from there, but from, from what, what I'm seeing, it's fly tipping. Uh, a lot of, a lot of fly tipping. And... Um, I've got a lot to cover, I've got to get all the way down there as well. Um, so I'm just going to sort of walk along, walk and talk with you. But I'm not going to stop in any certain places. Um, let's just get in here and have, a, and have a see what sort of stuff is being fly tipped. Oh my lord. Oh god, it, it really, really does stink real, real bad. I can't really find much. Uh, I'm not going rooting through stuff, is what I'm saying. Oh my god, there's everything here. Definitely one of the worst places I've been to. Oh my lord. It goes on and on and on. Now there is businesses around. Uh, I don't from the looking of it it's not any business business waste oh my god it's just like it like a, a hole like a place where people have been able to sort of do it without getting caught sort of thing because i can't actually see any cameras there might be cameras on these buildings but they'll be poking pointing at their own properties rather than any of this uh, yeah, you see, all the way along, we've got a we've got a fence here, so I can't see um, it coming, it being chucked down from the road, if you know what I mean. So I don't think any of it has come from the sort of the traffic up there. I think people are just coming down here in the cars and they just they just fly tipping the whole lot of it, aren't they? Uh, as usual what when i'm around stoke and i'm filming all this fly tipping it's all drinks bottles there's a lot of drinks bottles i find but yeah this is this is definitely one of the worst places i have been most definitely yeah but somewhere somewhere around here sort of up here it was a it was a guy that was reported missing and they found him dead around here and this was it was about 12 months ago but like i said i can't find any information out on this person who he was what he what he actually died of or anything like that look at this fucking carpet how long has that been there 
That must have been there. That's that's been there over 12 months, hasn't it? Carpet here. You know, this has been ignored for a, a very long time. We see that is kind of root boost. So I know I know personally that that is used for growing cannabis. So obviously, when they are done with, you know, they want to get rid of the evidence. Obviously, this is a dumping ground for it. Like I said, we've got some businesses around. I can't understand why. Maybe the businesses have sort of, you know, moaned about this, but nothing's been done. But as always, we will report all this on various apps that we use. Um, and then it starts getting... It still goes all the way down, but it gets sort of lighter and lighter and lighter, if you know what I mean. You know... But uh, it does seem like that down there is the main fly tipping area. Um, I'm not going to go all the way down there. You can see over the path there is litter and stuff. Obviously, people have pulled up in the cars and drinks cans, you know, clean the car out on the, on the, on the path, on the pavement. Um, but yeah, what's that business there? Jay Warburton and Sons Transport. You know, like I said, these businesses... It must be effective, you know, when uh, when sort of there. Um, Jesus, slow down a little bit. Bloody hell, there's a car coming the other way. Look at that. Bloody hell. But yeah, these businesses, when they've got the customers and that coming in, it must be affecting the business. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be happy if this was outside my business. Uh, but yeah, old. That looks like an old truck. Um sort of mug guard you can see if we get in look at this that's that's a case there that's a suitcase now look how old it looks so this mess clearly has been here for some time it's another area that has been ignored i don't know what that is but what the hell is in that oh my god what what is in that look that's why I've got my gloves on, guys. I've got my gloves on, my boots. They certainly drive very quick down this road here. Jesus, it's a wonder I haven't been knocked over yet. Yeah, but I'll just take you back along for another look before we end this video. This is... Oh, my God, I can't tell you how bad it smells. You know, I wish we got smelly vision and you'd know what I'm smiling right now. It turns your guts, it really does. It's absolutely disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. So I can't see it coming down off the road. I really can't. And I know sometimes a lot of people say, oh, these people chucking things from the car and stuff. You'd have to have a mighty good throw and beat the fence line for your rubbish to end up here so this is def definitely most definitely a fly tipping heaven it really is oh my god I'm, I'm, up, I'm absolutely shocked you know I saw it on another video my mate's video and I sort of uh, it was one of them another one of them where I didn't believe it was that bad until I've seen it for myself and it is really bad. Now, I want to get up there, guys, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. In case there might be needles if I slip or anything like that. But you can see there's old duvets up there, so clearly somebody's been underneath the bridge, sleeping rough. Um, that's what I think. Another English person sleeping rough that probably isn't getting the outlet they deserve. Uh, but yeah that's I'll talk about that on another video <laughs> but yeah there is a lot isn't there, there really is I'm just going to follow this a little bit along it looks like they've tried to do something but then stopped for some reason maybe no council funding for keep the clean up going that's all I can think of what this is oh <coughs> sorry guys it really is, it, 
it's making me feel sick but i'm here and i'm staying and i'm finishing this video oh my god you've got the mother load of let me just see if i can get in the mother load of vodka bottles there my god so it's a it's a piss heads even so god brown bin there been burnt out somebody's getting rid of some evidence there aren't they they've dumped it here and then burnt it out or something i don't know but uh yeah i would say maybe the alcoholics maybe stay underneath this bridge for shelter um and get pissed basically and then dump all the crap there let's just go across here and let's just have a look just at this another look at this and see if we i wonder if we can find any ties to a person in this um, oh my god i can't guys i can't i want to i want to see if i can get in there and see if i can tie it to a to, to, to somebody get some information for the council to go and tie it to somebody but it's just you know it's gut turning it really is it really is gut turning um let's just walk up here where we started the video you can see there's a shitload of rubbish up there but for me Pitt, i will probably say maybe that is stuff that's been chucked from car windows that's what this sort of rubbish looks like. It doesn't look like fly tip. There's stuff that's up there. Um, look at this. Oh my God, let me just get up here for you guys. Look at that. That's definitely stuff that's been chucked from lorries, cars and stuff like that. Look, car, there's a car mat there. Um, it's it's got to have an effect on there the uh, the environment aren't it it is sick horrible it really is the smell down here i wouldn't want work at any of these businesses with a smell like that but anyway guys i'm gonna end this one here um if you have enjoyed that video do give it the thumbs up and uh, i will see you on the next one